I am gonna find it and I'm gonna finish it. In today's video, we will discuss the 15 best horror movies of 2018. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Nothing, not one, ever, will separate us. At number 15, we have the movie Marrowbone directed by Sergio G. Sanchez. The film follows four siblings who seek refuge in a secluded home after their mother's death, aiming to keep their family together and evade separation. They maintain their deceased mother's presence a secret to prevent being taken away from each other. However, the house conceals a hunting past, and as the siblings try to live peacefully, they face eerie occurrences that put their bond and safety at risk. As the secrets of the house and the family's past unravel, the movie intensifies into a blend of psychological thriller and suspenseful drama. Insidious, The Last Key. I am gonna find it and I'm gonna finish it. At number 14, we have the movie Insidious, The Last Key directed by Adam Robitel. The film follows the character Elise Rainier, a parapsychologist facing her most personal and disturbing haunting yet a supernatural entity within her own family home. The story delves into Lisa's past, revealing her childhood and her unsettling connection with the other side. As she confronts the malevolent force, she must navigate the horrors of the further realm. confronting demons both literal and metaphorical in a chilling and suspenseful narrative that unravels the mysteries of her past. Veronica At number 13, we have the movie Veronica directed by Paco Plaza. The film is inspired by a true story about a teenage girl, Veronica who holds a seance with classmates using a Ouija board in hopes of contacting her deceased father. However, the ritual goes awry, and Veronica becomes the target of a malevolent supernatural force. As eerie occurrences escalate in her home, she tries to protect her siblings while uncovering the hunting truth behind the entity. The movie artfully combines elements of paranormal horror with a sense of impending doom capturing Veronica's terrifying struggle against a relentless and malevolent presence. The Nun Hello. At number 12, we have the movie The Nun, directed by Corin Hardy. The film is a part of the Conjuring universe, focusing on a demonic entity hunting a cloistered abbey in Romania. A young nun and a priest are sent by the Vatican to investigate the mysterious suicide of a nun in the secluded convent. As they delve into the dark and malevolent secrets of the Abbey, they encounter a malevolent force embodied by a demonic nun. The movie unfolds as they confront unholy terrors and battle against the sinister presence, uncovering the unholy truth behind the menacing entity and its terrifying power. Cold Skin At number 11, we have the movie Cold Skin directed by Xavier Jens. The film is an atmospheric thriller following a young weather observer, friend, who arrives on a remote, isolated island to document weather patterns. He discovers that his predecessor has disappeared and soon encounters the island's only other inhabitant, Gruner who lives in a lighthouse. Friend learns that the island is besieged by amphibious humanoid creatures attacking every night. Wake up! Shoot! Shoot, dammit! I see where you are! As they fight to survive their relentless assaults, Friend finds himself at odds with Gruner's brutal approach to dealing with the creatures. The night eats the world. Is anyone here? At number 10, we have the movie The Night Eats the World, directed by Dominique Rocker. The film revolves around Sam, 
who wakes up after a party in Paris, only to discover the city has been overrun by zombies. Trapped inside an apartment building, Sam employs survival instincts to adapt and stay alive, as he fortifies the apartment against the undead. The film delves into the psychological toll of isolation and survival in a post-apocalyptic world. The narrative focuses on Sam's solitary existence and the emotional strain of being the last survivor. Apostle At number 9, we have the movie Apostle. Directed by Gareth Evans, known for The Raid, this historical horror centers around Thomas, a former missionary who has lost his faith. He embarks on a journey to a secluded island inhabited by a cult that is holding his sister captive. As he seeks to free her, the story takes unexpected turns, defying genre conventions while delivering intense gore. With compelling performances from Dan Stevens as Thomas and Michael Sheen as a cult leader, Apostle stands out as a potent entry in the folk horror subgenre. Drawing comparisons to iconic films like The Wicker Man and Midsommar, the film's intricate plot and strong character portrayals contribute to its appeal for horror enthusiasts seeking a unique and unsettling experience. Possum. At number 8, we have the movie Possum directed by Matthew Holness. The film follows a disgraced puppeteer named Philip returning to his bleak and eerie hometown with a sinister and eerie puppet named Possum. Haunted by traumatic memories and a troubled past, Philip is haunted by the puppet, which seems to have a life of its own, as he struggles with his inner demons, attempting to rid himself of the puppet. Deep or does he hide? Can you spy him deep within? Let's he becomes trapped in a menacing and surreal nightmare, leading to a harrowing psychological and atmospheric horror tale filled with disturbing imagery and unsettling themes. Halloween. You don't believe in the boogeyman? He's here! Michael! At number 7, we have the movie Halloween directed by David Gordon Green. The film serves as a direct sequel to the original 1978 classic. It revisits the character of Laurie Strode, who has spent four decades preparing for a final confrontation with the masked serial killer Michael Myers. In this continuation, Myers escapes while being transferred to a new facility and returns to Haddonfield, Illinois, where he resumes his killing spree. Lori, still haunted by her previous encounter. is now ready to confront the embodiment of her nightmares in a final showdown, creating a tense and suspenseful narrative steeped in the lore of the iconic horror franchise. The Endless There's something out here, isn't there? At number 6, we have the movie The Endless, directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. The film follows two brothers who return to a UFO death cult they escaped years earlier. Upon their return, they discover strange and unexplainable phenomena that defy reality, seemingly connected to the cult's beliefs in supernatural forces. As they delve deeper into the community, they sent us a video. Whoever's watching, I just wanted to say the ascension is something that we've all been looking forward to. They unearth area occurrences in a complex, time-bending reality that blurs the line between science fiction and cosmic horror. Terrified. At number 5, we have the movie Terrified directed by Demian Regna. The film is set in a neighborhood where inexplicable and terrifying events begin to unravel, leaving residents and a group of paranormal investigators puzzled. The movie interweaves various horrifying occurrences that play different households, with each dwelling seemingly haunted by distinct and malevolent entities. As the investigators delve into these chilling occurrences, they uncover a pattern that leads to a spine-chilling revelation about the very nature of fear and the inexplicable forces that threaten the residents. Mandy. 
glowed from within, strange and eternal. At number four, we have the movie Mandy directed by Panos Cosmatos. The film is an intense and visually striking revenge story that follows a lumberjack named Red Miller, who lives a peaceful life with his girlfriend, Mandy. Their tranquil existence is shattered when a cult leader, Jeremiah Sand, becomes infatuated with Mandy and unleashes a group of malevolent bikers to abduct her. Fueled by grief and rage, Red embarks on a bloody and surreal journey to seek vengeance against those who wronged him and to rescue Mandy. The movie is a visceral and psychedelic trip, blending horror, action, and fantasy elements while exploring themes of love, loss, and the boundaries of sanity. Annihilation. It's not destroying. It's making something new. At number three, we have Annihilation, a mind-bending and visually stunning sci-fi horror film directed by Alex Garland. Adapted from Jeff Vandermeer's novel, the movie takes us on a mesmerizing journey with a group of explorers as they enter the Shimmer, a mysterious and mutating quarantine zone influenced by an enigmatic alien presence. What sets Annihilation apart is Garland's unique approach, infusing the concept of energy refraction into matter, resulting in the creation of nightmarish and haunting creatures. They went crazy. Or something in here killed them. Something's come through the fence. Through the fence? The film is a mesmerizing feast of colors and light, showcasing Garland's fearlessness and delving into the bizarre to tell a compelling story about identity and self-awareness. Suspiria. It's all a mess. At number two, we have the movie Suspiria directed by Luca Gadagnino. The film is a reinterpretation of the 1977 classic and follows Susie Banyan, an American dancer who joins a prestigious dance academy in Berlin. The academy, however, harbors dark and occult secrets. I'm in here. As Susie rises through the ranks of the dance company, she becomes entangled in a web of supernatural occurrences and a coven of witches led by the enigmatic Madame Blanc. Hereditary. At the end. At number one on our list, we have the remarkable horror film, Hereditary, directed by Ari Aster. This movie propelled him into the ranks of the greatest horror filmmakers of our time. Often hailed as this generation's The Exorcist by critics, Hereditary delivers a chilling and emotionally gripping experience. Tony Collette delivers an outstanding performance as a grieving mother who finds herself unwittingly drawn into a sinister pagan cult, with her family marked for a tragic and inescapable fate. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.